Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, all kinds of trash. It's my weekly wrap up for week one of Garb August. So Garb August, as you hopefully know, is my month-long reading event running throughout the month of August where we celebrate trashy books. So I started my Garb August slightly early. I actually started on the 31st of July, which was Monday. Um, so I've read I've read a lot of books already for Garb August. So bear in mind, a lot of these are quite easy reads um, and I've been off work this week as well, but I've read 12 books since Monday. So I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, and it's been fun. It's been really, really enjoyable. Um, so hopefully if you're taking part in Garb August, uh, you've been having a good time with it too. Um, lots of people seem to be getting involved, which is really lovely. Um, also worth reflecting, this has been my first uh, week on my new schedule. So I announced I was going to move to a new schedule last Sunday where I take Wednesdays and Fridays off. So I won't be putting up a video on Wednesday and Friday, whereas I have been previously. Um, and that felt nice, to be honest with you. It's felt like I'm a little bit more in control of things. So that's been a welcome change for me. And, and hopefully it hasn't been too disruptive. Um, I don't know, would it be disruptive? I don't know. Hopefully you haven't missed seeing me on a Wednesday and Friday too much. Um, Anyway, let me talk about what I've what I've read then. Um, I would also say I'm doing daily updates on my Patreon. Uh, so I do a, I, I do a, a daily video on my Patreon on most days. I don't, I, there've been a few days I've missed, but I try and do it every day where I just talk briefly, just for a couple of minutes about what I'm reading. Um, I'm doing that throughout Garb August. Um, and I've opened that up to all tiers of my Patreon for, for August. So normally it's just for the top three tiers, but I've opened it up to all of the tiers. You can get free trials. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's like a subscription service where you get additional content and things like that from me and other perks. So you can get a free trial for a week. Should you fancy trying it out and see, seeing what it's all about, there's a link in the um, in the description for this video that you can click on to, to get access to that. So if you fancy giving that a try, you can you can sign up for a week with no obligation. Okay, so 12 books to go through then. I'll do the, the Kindle books first. So a variety of, of different things here. And I have ticked off already quite a few squares uh, on the Garb August Garb Bingo card. Um, so let's go through what I've read on Kindle. So The Gargoyle Gets a Girlfriend uh, by Calandra Hunter, uh, Calandra Hunter even, uh, which ticks off the Shifter Romance square on the Girl Bingo card. Um, so this was a, um, well, it, it, was a, it was a lesbian Shifter Romance about a woman who's investigating like kind of cryptid sightings and things like that and ends up falling in love with um, this uh, woman who can shift into a gargoyle. Um, it was it was quite sweet actually in some ways. The actual romance elements of it were quite sweet, albeit there was no like romantic tension or anything like that. You always knew that they were going to get together, and and indeed they got together very early on. So it was a bit lacking in tension, but it was quite an enjoyable read. Um, I then read uh, also or rather also read uh, Vigilante by Marv Wolfman, which was a Marvel uh, sorry a DC comic from I think the late seventies early eighties, a spin off. So this character Vigilante. It had been around for years apparently um, and had been in various titles and, and had been in the New Teen Titans, um, which is a, a comic I never read. So um, I had read at least one issue of Vigilante um, in the past. I've still got it up in the attic somewhere, I think. So I thought I'd give this a try. The collected edition of the first 10 volumes or 10 issues, I think, was, was on Kindle Unlimited. And it, was, it wasn't all that, to be honest with you. It wasn't as dark as something like uh, the Punisher, albeit it does have some, it did have some quite dark scenes in it, um, and some you know references to to horrible things having happened to people that the that the vigilante was then getting justice for, but there was just too much kind of superhero stuff wrapped up in it all, and I found it quite difficult to follow to be honest with you. Plus the vigilante's costume was just ridiculous, and he's got this stupid huge red motorcycle as well, which for some reason irritated me. So I didn't particularly enjoy that. Um, I then uh, so that ticked off the vigilante um, square on the bingo card, albeit. A load of other things I've read this week would have ticked that off as well. Um, so I uh, I also read Your Secret Admirer by Richard Lehman, writing as Carl Lehman. Um, so this was a... So Richard Lehman, if you don't know him, is a, is a well-known 
um, horror writer from the 80s in particular who wrote kind of real B-movie style horror novels that tended to be full of sex and violence. Uh, and in particular, um, kind of lingering descriptions of the female anatomy. Um, Your Secret Admirer was actually a young adult book he wrote for Scholastic, which is kind of a bit like a kind of Fear Street Christopher Pike type book. So um, kind of a, a suspense novel um, about this teenage girl who's getting these mysterious letters from someone who signs off as Your Secret Admirer. So it was a bit weird <laughs> reading a Richard Laywood book um, that was, you know, that was that was basically uh, targeted at, at teenagers. Um, but it was it was kind of entertaining enough. The ending was a bit obvious um, and it was just it just felt all felt a bit weird throughout. But it was an easy enough read. Um, so, yeah, it was OK. So that ticked off the um, the Richard Lehman square on the bingo card and also the pseudonym square. Because as I said, he he published it as Carl Lehman. Um, I also read uh, the Blacksmith's Mail Order Bride uh, by Cindy Caldwell, um, which ticked off the weirdly specific uh, title square on the bingo card. And I forgot to say, so this week, first week of Garb August, was Men's Adventure or Category Romance. So this this also counts as a as a Category Romance. Things like Vigilante. Um, and well, actually, and the Gargoyle Gets a Girlfriend also a Category Romance. Um, Vigilante ticks off the men's adventure square. I've got a few other things that tick that off quite nicely as well. Um, so anyway, the Blacksmith's Mail Order Bride was like a uh, a kind of Western romance um, set in this small town. And, and this is like book five or six or something like that in the series. And it's one of those series where each instalment, I think, focuses on a different, co- uh, a different couple. So this one was about this... Um, kind of slightly feisty young woman in the town um, who's kind of taking on people who are um, who are causing her problems and also falls in love with this blacksmith Um, but it felt like a bit of a swizz because she wasn't a mail order bride there's clearly a mail order bride thing going on throughout this series because the blacksmith at one point gets given this catalogue of mail order brides but in the end goes with this you know chooses to get to go with this woman instead of choosing a mail order bride so it was just it was all a bit I don't know. It was a bit nothingy. I didn't. I didn't particularly enjoy that one. Um, I think that's it. Oh, so sorry. So two more. Two more Kindle things then. So um, I randomly got followed on Instagram by a publisher whose name I forget now, um, an indie publisher who who are publishing a new men's adventure series, um, and the and they're all on Kindle Unlimited. So I thought I'd try the first one. So the series is called Frenzy, um, and the first book is called The Mafia Massacre, uh, and the author is R.J. R.J. Calder. I'll put the I'll put this, the, like the titles and authors of all the books in the description for the video. So this was really quite fun. So it's a throwback to, so published in the last couple of years, but a throwback to the kind of executioner style 70s men's adventure books. So Frenzy the hero is a like a mafia enforcer who ends up turning against the mafia when they kill his neighbour who he's quite attached to. Um, so it was just like full of violence, full of action, and just quite entertainingly written. It's got, it's had a nice kind of 70s vibe to it. I had a really, really good time with it. And I'll definitely try more in the series. So if you like that kind of old school men's adventure type stuff, definitely check out the Frenzy series on, on Kindle Unlimited. I enjoyed it. Um, and then this morning for my Patreon book club. So every month my patrons choose a book uh, and we read it together. So this month's pick for kind of in in keeping with Garb August was a killer animal book called Rattus New Yorkus by Hunter Shea. Um, so I read that this morning. It's only like 120 pages or something like that. Uh, and I filmed a, a vlog. So I film a vlog for my patrons every month. So that's up on my Patreon. Um, and you can, if you, if you sign up for that free trial that I mentioned earlier, you can watch me talking about Rattus New Yorkus. Um, so it's a, a silly very fast-paced um, novel or novella, I suppose, about these um, exterminators in New York who accidentally unleash a a kind of tide of frenzied like, carnivorous rats, um, and it's about them like, teaming up with the army and things like that to try and stop these rats. So it was very fast-paced. It did lack in the horror. Um, 
Like the the horror element of it was a bit lacking. There were a couple of decent horror scenes, but it it didn't feel as horrible as I felt it should have done. Um, but it was still a fast a fast and enjoyable read. Um, my third book I've tried by Hunter Shea, and I think probably my favourite so far. Um, right, so that's all the Kindle stuff. Oh, one other Kindle thing. So I'm also currently reading, and I've been reading it throughout the week because it's huge. Um, Riders by Jilly Cooper. Her very very successful and well-known novel about um, saucy shenanigans in the horse riding set in the UK. So it's like over 900 pages long. I've read about 200 pages of it and I'm still not really sure what the plot is, but I'm really having a good time with it. It's really fun. So the characters are all quite colourful um, and interesting. There's um, there's a guy called Jake who's uh, um, of kind of gypsy origin, who's really into riding and, you know, is poor, but is an excellent horse rider. There's the, the main, I guess he's kind of the main character. And I think he, he continues through a number of books by um, by Jilly Cooper. This guy called Rupert, who's who's a, like a real what's the word I'm looking for? Like a cad, a scoundrel, a bounder, like a terrible rich guy who's just a bit of an ass, but women find irresistible. Um, and he's like a champion show jumper. Um, and then there's this American uh, woman who's come over to the UK to kind of escape her um, her slightly troubled past in, in the US. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really genuinely entertaining. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, right, so so that's what I'm currently reading. Um, so physical books then, a few different things here. So another category romance, um, Celebrity Sweet Nurse by uh, Suzanne Roberts. This was really fun. So this was a, a 60s um, ace romance, very kindly sent to me by uh, one of my viewers, Eerie B, a while ago in a, in a box of books she sent me. This was, it was just really, really entertaining. So um, the main character is a nurse who gets transferred to work on this this ward where celebrities go to kind of rest and things like that um, and there's a young uh, pop star there and, it, and it's about her trying to decide whether she wants him um, or this kind of doctor who she's who she's got kind of an on-off relationship with who's like very worthy and, and you know a nice guy but a bit boring so it's about her deciding between the pop star the doctor and her career as a nurse I had a really good time with it it was really really entertaining um so that ticked off the uh, set in a hospital square on the Garbingo card. Um, for the uh, from a series with more than one hundred books, I read book eighteen in the Executioner series by Don Pendleton. This was Texas Storm. So this was a better than average entry in the Executioner series. Um, I had a really good time with this. So the Executioner is like a one man army going up against the mafia. This is this kind of thing is very much the inspiration for for the Frenzy books. This one came out, I guess, in the 70s. Yeah, 75. Oh, 74, actually, this originally came out. So, yeah, basically, in this one, the Mafia are trying to take over kind of the Texas oil field to, and get power that way. And Matt Boland, the executioner, goes up against them. Tons of fun, loads of action, really tense. I, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, right, uh, for the Gangs Square on the Garbingo card, I read this, The Shrewsdale Exit by John Buell. Um which I, I wanted for the cover as much as anything else. I do think that's an amazing cover. So this was good. This is a, a revenge novel that went in a completely different direction than I was expecting and, and was all the better for it. So I am going to do a review uh, video where I compare this and another book that I read this week, Captain Blood, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, but yeah, this was this was interesting. Um, yeah, it, it ended up being a completely different book from what I was expecting. So basically this guy... Um, he's he's travelling across the country with his wife and daughter. They get forced off the road by this gang of bikers and the wife and daughter get raped and killed and the guy then wants to get revenge. So very typical of the kind of 70s style of revenge novel. But as I say, went in a completely different direction than expected and was, and was good. Um, the other one then, so the other book I'm going to do in that uh, review was Captain Blood by Michael Blodgett. So Michael Blodgett was was a child actor, um, so I could use this for the um, for the written by a celebrity uh, square, or could have used it for the there's a week three of Garb August is read a book by a celebrity, um, but I th I've got another one for that. Um, but yeah, this was this was interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was good. I did quite enjoy it. So it's a really wild, very seventies book about kind of counterculture in LA. 
Um, and this central character called Captain Blood, who ends up going on a kind of revenge mission against these drug dealers. Incredibly graphically sexual and weirdly sexual as well. Very violent. Um, and But yeah, interesting. Michael Blodgett, as well as writing this, did write a few other novels and also wrote the screenplay for Turner and Hooch, the Tom, Tom Hanks movie, <laughs> where Tom, it's kind of a cutesy family movie where Tom Hanks and a dog team up to solve a crime. So this was very different to that. Um, but yeah, and definitely an interesting book. I don't, like I said, I'm not sure if it was a good book, but it was definitely interesting. So yeah, I'm going to do a, a video where I compare um, that and the Shrewsdale exit this week. Um, and this one, sorry, I should say, I read as a buddy read with Billy Bob, one of my viewers, uh, and a couple of other booktubers, uh, Nettie from the channel Digging Books, um, and MJ from the channel Reading This Life. Um, another kind of men's adventure type one, and this one I read to tick off the uh, exclamation mark in the title square on the Gal Bingo card, so Raise the Titanic by Clive Cussler. I actually listened to this as an audio book, uh, and I had a really good time with it. So I have read this before, but not for a long time. I used to really like the... Dirk Pitt novels of which this is one so in this one basically there's this there's this very rare ore that it turns out was on the Titanic and the Americans need for a super secret project they've got so Dirk Pitt from the the National Underwater and Marine Agency um, gets the mission of raising the Titanic from the depths to get this ore tons of kind of spy shenanigans um, a fair bit of action, um, lots of kind of scientific detail, which is probably nonsense, but was quite interesting. Tons of sexism. So did, this book is just incredibly chauvinistic all the way through to a, to a quite annoying degree. Um, it, it came out in the 70s and it, and it feels like a kind of the, that Clive Cussler had a bee in his bonnet about like the, you know, the feminist movement. Um, and just goes on and on about it. So that side of it was annoying, but the actual kind of adventure stuff was was really fun. So enjoyed that a lot. Okay, final book then. So having read that Blacksmith book, I felt like I needed to read a more satisfying category romance. So I turned to Harlequin slash Mills and Boone, obviously. So Harlequin and Mills and Boone are the same company. They're Harlequin in the US and Mills and Boone in, in the UK. Um, I picked up a stack of um, these Mills and Boone heroes doubles a while ago, which are like romantic suspense ones. Uh, and I read the first book uh, in this double, uh, which was Co uh, Conard County Canine Detectives. There's loads, there's like dozens of books in the Conard County series, um, uh, which I need to read more of because it, it was definitely fun. So this was by, who was it by? Rachel Lee. Um, so this is about two... Um, ex-military people who live in Conard County, I can't remember where Conard County is, somewhere in kind of middle America. Um, they both got dogs. Dogs. One of them was, was like a military nurse and one of them was, I don't know, something else in the military. He, he's a guy. Um, the, the nurse is, is a woman. Um, and they, they fall in love whilst investigating some sh very shady goings on at this kind of religious cult in the town that they live in. Um, it was really, really fun. So a very slow burn romance. The suspense elements were, were well done. It felt a little bit rushed at the end, the suspense side of things. But the romance side of things was all fun. The, the fact they both had dogs was kind of cute um, and, and kept it interesting. So, yeah, I, I, I had a really good time with this. I keep saying that. I just have a good time during Girl August. You know, it's, it's my time of year. Um, so yes, this was this was a fun read. Definitely, we'll try some more Rachel Lee um, if I come across her books uh, cheap. Um, so yeah, this was this was another fun one. So that's everything I've read, which is quite a lot. <laughs> um, I will probably. Well, I've got I've still got a lot of books to read for Girl August. We are moving now into. Um, Paperbacks from Hell or Vintage Smut Week. So that's week two of Garb August. So I've got a few things lined up for that. I think the thing that I'm going to read next is this, uh, The Bigger Mist by William Hegner, um, which looks uh, saucy and fun. So yeah, looking forward to that. So I think I'm going to start that now. Um, and I've got a few things queued up on my Kindle. Um, I'll be doing the, the group read for Garb August is The Devil's Laughter by William W. Johnstone. So I'll be reading that this week as well. There's a, um, a channel on my Discord server, link in the description for the video, um, where we'll be chatty about that. So that's the group read um, for Garb August um, in honour of uh, Pax, uh, who was one of our Garb August hosts last year and sadly passed away since then. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be reading those two um, in the in the. 
coming week and some other stuff too, no doubt. So in terms of channel stuff then, in the last week you've had my Happy Garb August video, which went up on the 1st of August, which is always a ton of fun to do. Um, I also did my July wrap up. Uh, I did the video talking about the reasons why I'm, I'm moving down to five videos a week rather than seven. Um, and uh, I did a review of the book The Naked and the Deadly by Lawrence Block, which was a really entertaining read. So if you like uh, kind of vintage pulpy stuff, do check out that video. I think you'd love the book. Um, in the week ahead then, um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm been really bad at planning. Uh, I think in the last week I've just been reading so much um, that I haven't really thought about um, videos too much. So I've, I will do, as I said, that uh, that kind of double header review of the Shrewsdale exit uh, and Captain Blood. Um, and I think I'm also going to do a video talking about what I see as the problems uh, with the kind of crime genre at the moment in terms of, I guess, oversaturation of the market, particularly here in the UK. It just feels to me like there's too many crime novels out there. So I think I'm going to do a video on that as well. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, do let me know what you've been reading for Garb August in the comments. Let me know if there's anything particularly good that you think I would enjoy. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.